This is a catch up on three things by the Indian Express and I'm Snegdha Sharma. Today is the 2nd of September and here are the headlines. India reported close to 47,000 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours with 509 fresh fatalities. Warning against lowering the guard against the coronavirus disease, the health ministry today said that people should celebrate festivals at home, follow COVID appropriate behavior and get vaccinated as and when their turn comes. The ministry in its presser also stated that mass gatherings have to be discouraged and full vaccination should be a prerequisite if attending a gathering is essential. The World Health Organization said that it is closely monitoring a new COVID-19 variant of interest named MU, warning that the new variant shows signs of possible resistance to vaccines. The new variant was first identified in Colombia in January 2021 and since then there have been sporadic reports of cases and some larger outbreaks in South America and Europe. According to Reuters, the new Taliban appointed head of Afghanistan's central bank has sought to reassure bank that the group wants a fully functional financial system but has so far provided little detail on how it will supply funds to sustain it. Two bankers who attended the meeting told Reuters that the acting central bank governor Haji Muhammad Idris met members of the Afghanistan Banks Association and other bankers this week. He told them that the Taliban viewed the banking sector as imperative. The Supreme Court today expressed concern over fake news being spread over social media platforms and web portals stating that they exhibit no accountability. A bench led by Chief Justice of India NV Ramana was hearing a batch of petitions including one filed by Jamiyat Ulema-e Hind. The petition was seeking directions to the center to stop the dissemination of fake news which links the spread of COVID-19 with the Tablighi Jamaat gathering. The petition urged the center to take action against those responsible for it. The bench noted that web portals are not governed by anything. It said that there is an attempt to give a communal color to news and that is the problem. It said that ultimately it brings bad name to the country. The police today used a water cannon to disperse a group of farmers who allegedly tried to force their way inside the venue of an event of the Shiromani Akali Dal in Punjab's Moga which was being addressed by its chief Sukhbir Singh Badal. The police claimed that some of the protesters scuffled with them and hurled stones in a bid to force their way inside the event venue in Moga's grain market. TV actor Siddharth Shukla passed away at the age of 40 today. Dr. R Sukhdev of Cooper Hospital confirmed to Indian Express that the actor Siddharth Shukla was brought dead to the hospital. The post-mortem examination has not begun as the police procedures are still going on. As per a statement by the Mumbai police to ANI, no injuries were sustained on the actor's body and the cause of death is yet to be ascertained. The statement also said that a team of police officers were present at Shukla's residence to investigate the matter. This was a catch up on three things by the Indian Express.